It was a joy to be with you, brethren, and I rejoice that we've heard some marvelous things proclaimed already in our meeting. Um, I've been thinking about some things associated with this mystery being revealed. And a mystery is so caught because it is hidden, and it's not plainly understood. It requires a revealing. And the mysteries of God are not revealed to just anyone. Even as Sister Karen has been up in yeah. Matthew 13, mm -hmm. it's not given to everyone to see the things yeah. that God has in store for them, mm -hmm. but to those he's chosen, yeah. his servants. The grace of God enables man the capacity to see and hear these marvelous mysteries. Amen. And as we are faithful with these mysteries, the mysteries God gives, he gives us more to see. Um, we are living in a blessed time, brethren. Amen. A time when God is speaking through his son. Amen. We can clearly Amen. see and understand these things that he said. A time that we can see these mysteries. Blessed are your eyes for they see and yeah. your ears for they hear. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which ye see and have not seen them. And to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. We are indeed living in a blessed time. The prophets long to look into the things they spoke about. In this time we're living in, God has made clear the things which Isaiah and Ezekiel and Daniel spoke about. Mm -hmm. We live in a time, brother, when God is speaking through his son, the very one that the prophets spoke about. Yeah. He's speaking to us through him. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Um, it is vital that all men know that Jesus himself is the only way that man will come to the knowledge of God. There was the true light, which coming into the world enlightens every man. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God. Amen. Even to those who believe in his name, who were born, not of blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we saw his glory, glory as of the only begotten from the Father, full of grace and truth. No one has seen God at any time, but the only begotten of God, who is in the bosom of the Father, mm -hmm. he has explained him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was a time when Jesus was, was walking on the earth, and men had him in front of them, and they couldn't clearly see him for who he yeah. was. Mm -hmm. And it's better for us that he went away, because now Amen. we have Christ in us, yeah. explaining mm -hmm. the Father. Amen. God has caught a revealer of, of mysteries, secret things belonging to him. Mm -hmm. All of us can testify that anything that we are able to see, we are able to see because God gave it to us. Mm -hmm. That's right. It is not a matter of the wisdom of words, highness of mind, yeah. that a man comes to the knowledge of God, but because he shows himself to us. Mm -hmm. This revealing of the mystery of Christ and coming to a knowledge of God really is the essence of eternal life. Mm -hmm. This is eternal life that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Amen. Our life, real life, depends on us knowing Christ and God revealing him to us. Mm -hmm. Along with this truth, God wants to be known and will allow himself to be found of those who diligently Amen. seek him. Amen. Amen. Since we know that no plan of God can be thwarted, and we know that he's determined to make himself known to man, he yeah. will leave man without excuse mm. for coming to that knowledge. Yeah. God has made every provision for man to be saved, saved and manifested the fullness of his radiant, the radiance of his glory and the exact representation of his nature in the person of Christ. Mm -hmm. Man has no excuse for not knowing the Father, and he also has every benefit in the life and ministry of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Mm -hmm. The mystery of Christ, his person, his work on the cross, the implications of that work, his resurrection, his ascension, and exaltation were determined before the foundation of the world. God declared that these things would happen, and Jesus even testified of his death while he was on the earth. But men could not understand these things on their own. Men were required not only for God to send Christ, but to also explain his purpose, yeah. plan, promise, and blessings that Christ brought along with him mm. and is bringing. Mm -hmm. We are blessed indeed to see the mystery of the kingdom. Mm. The kingdom of God is likened to a treasure hidden in a field. Mm -hmm. This treasure is not clearly seen by eyes alone. 
It requires some digging and searching. Yeah. But when man comes upon this treasure hmm. and perceives it as treasure, he sells all that he possesses, yes. that he may buy the field and with it obtain what it what Amen. is in it. Amen. Treasure. Amen. When God reveals and hmm. uncovers the treasure of Christ and the hmm. kingdom to you, you also readily give up all. Mm-hmm. Count it all as rubbish that you may gain Christ. Yeah. Amen. I want to finish by declaring to you that not only are we blessed to live in this time when God has revealed his son, mm. but that our very life depends on God revealing his hidden things. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to consider for a moment the record of Daniel's life. Daniel's life depended on God revealing a mystery to him. As you recall, there was a dream given to Nebuchadnezzar. None of the wise men in the land could interpret its meaning, and they said themselves, that there's not a man on earth who could declare the matter for the king. And as much as no great king or ruler has ever asked anything like this of any magician, conjurer, or Chaldean. Moreover, the thing which the king demands is difficult, and there is no one else who could declare it to the king except gods, whose dwelling place is not with mortal flesh. The wise men were wise in recognizing that no man could reveal this knowledge. However, the God of heaven um, did reveal this to his servant, Daniel. Mm -hmm. God gave understanding to Daniel, and he knew the source of all wisdom and understanding, and he also knew that if he were to be saved from this certain impending death, it would be by God's doing. Mm -hmm. Daniel requested compassion from the God of heaven concerning this mystery, so that Daniel and his friends would not be destroyed with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Mm -hmm. Then the mystery was revealed to him in a night vision. And Daniel blessed the God of heaven. And listen to, listen to some of these great yeah. truths that he mm-hmm. proclaims after yeah. This, yeah. this is revealed to him. He yeah. says, let the name of God be blessed forever and Amen. ever. Mm-hmm. For yeah. wisdom and power belong to him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It is he who changes the times and the epochs. He removes kings and ex- establishes kings. He gives wisdom to wise men and mm. knowledge to men of understanding. Mm. It is he who reveals the profound and hidden Amen. things. He knows what is in darkness, and the light dwells with him. To you, O God of my fathers, I give thanks and praise, for you have given me wisdom and power. Even now you have made known to me what is, was requested of you, for you have made known to us the king's matter. Mm. So in the case of Daniel... Where there was a mystery kept secret, there would have been impending death for him. Hmm. But where there was a revelation and the giving of understanding, there was life. Mm-hmm. Our life also yeah. depends on God revealing to us a mystery. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It is yeah. for lack of knowledge that people perish. Yeah. At one time, we all had ears that did not hear and mm-hmm. eyes that did not see. Mm-hmm. Stony hearts that could not believe. Yeah. But God brought about a healing in his son and enabled the senses in the heart to perceive and believe on him. Mm-hmm. To say it another way, if who Christ is and what he is doing and will do remains a mystery to you, this will result in certain death for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But when God gives you to see Jesus as the Lord's Christ redeeming men, bringing many sons to glory, ever living to make intercession for men and giving eternal life. When men are given to see Christ as he really is, the only begotten son, the prince of peace, the king of kings, the lord of lords, the alpha and the omega, the righteous one, the lamb of God. When this happens, there is life. In this abundant life, men exclaim with great shouts of praise and joy, to the Lord of glory for this revealing. Amen. Those Amen. that are given much, there's also much required. Yes. Do not squander the treasure that has been given to you, but mm. keep it, build on it, dispense it, look into it, seek to gain more from the Lord. Mm. And as you do, the Lord will give you more, and he will also empower you to keep that, that which has been given to you. Mm-hmm. We live in a blessed time, brethren, a time when God is speaking to us through his Son. He is giving us marvelous things to see, redeem the time, and above all, seek wisdom and understanding from above. Mm -hmm. All this is done unto the praise of God's glory. Mm -hmm. 
It is not primarily for our benefit that we are given to know these mysteries, but that God would be glorified in all his doing. Mm -hmm. He is good and righteous Amen. and full of mercy and compassion. Yeah. And I just want to leave you from, with a couple verses from Isaiah talking about the ministry that Christ would have. I am the Lord. I have called you in righteousness. I will also hold you by the hand and watch over you. And I will appoint you as a covenant to the people, as a light to the nations, to open blind eyes, to bring out prisoners from the dungeon and those who dwell in darkness from the prison. I am the Lord. That is my name. I will not give my glory to another, nor I praise the graven images. Behold, the former things have come to pass. Now I declare new things. Before they spring forth, I proclaim them to you. Hmm. Thank the Lord that he has revealed these hidden and marvelous mysteries to us. Amen. 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 Amen.